Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to do the installation of Cosmic Desktop using Terminal in Cache OS. So in last video, we have seen the detailed review of KDE Desktop that is available in Cache OS. In this video, we are going to do the installation of Cosmic Desktop using the Terminal in Cache OS. And in the next video, we will check out the Cosmic Desktop in Cache OS. So let us start. We have to issue the command sudo pacman dash capital S cosmic. So this cosmic is a group of application packages uh, or the system packages that will install the complete cosmic desktop on your system. So you have to input your root password. You, you can see it here. So there are totally three repositories. So the Cache OS v3 version 3 repository. So you can see this version 3 Cache OS repository contains packages which are optimized for the certain CPU configuration, certain CPU architectures that includes my uh, AMD Ryzen 4600H that is the high performance CPU from the Ryzen 5 series. Then there is a extra repository, Cache OS extra v3 repository. Now this Cache OS extra v3 repository contains the components of the Cosmic desktop. You can see here the app library, Cosmic applets, Cosmic BG, Cosmic files, Cosmic greeter, Cosmic idle, Cosmic screenshot, Cosmic launcher, Cosmic notification, Cosmic OSD. Cosmic Panel, Cosmic R&R, &R, Cosmic Session, Cosmic Settings, Cosmic Settings Diamond, Cosmic Store, Cosmic Terminal, Cosmic Text Editor, Cosmic Workspaces, XDG Desktop Portal, Cosmic and the third repository that is the extra repository of Cache OS contains the Cosmic Wallpaper. So you have to either enter all or you have to just enter. Uh, you have to click on the enter button so it will automatically resolve the uh, dependencies now there is some more selections to be done so there are two providers available for the libsit.so is equal to 1 uh, to 64 so repository cache OS extra v3 will contain the cd and the repository extra will contain the cd so you can install this seed diamond either from the first that is the Cache OS extra v3 repository or the extra repository. So which you have to do. So uh, if you don't know anything, you have don't, don't have any background, always go with the default selection that is one. So totally 203.84 MB of packages will be uh, downloaded and the install size will be 772.17 MB. So this will install the complete cosmic desktop on your uh, Cache OS system. And you have to just wait now for the installation to complete then we will stop the video You see, because we installed the Cache OS uh, group and the Cache OS group contained the uh, optimizations you can see here for the Cosmic Comp that is the compositor for Cosmic Desktop. So therefore, you see the init RAMFS image is again uh, getting revealed. You can see here because of that compositor package. So compositor is for the display. Cosmic desktop display. So that compositor for cosmic desktop is optimized for the Cache OS kernel version 3. So those group of kernels which are optimized for the version 3 uh, architectures, those uh, those kind of kernels. That's why you can see here uh, the init RAMF has also got updated. And the Z standard compressed init CPU image is updated. 
for the main kernel as well as the fallback kernel and uh, the installation is complete in 5 minutes 14 seconds so this is all for today's video we have successfully installed the cosmic de in cache os in the next video we will check out the cosmic desktop and then uh, the next video from that i will show you how to uninstall the kde desktop because what happens is multiple desktops can key, create havoc with the con system configuration files and you can have system misbehavior so always it is better to have only one desktop on your system you can change between the desktop but always have one desktop otherwise the issues can happen but uh, right now the kd desktop technology and the cosmic desktop technology is totally different cosmic desktop is gtk based and the and not not just older cosmic desktop was gtk now the latest is on the rust based and the kd desktop runs on the qt technology so the configurations as such should not clash with each other so it is quite safe to have cosmic desktop as well as kd desktop together but never have uh, two desktop with same technology for example xfc and kd because they both have qt technology or you can have Gnome and Cinnamon together because both have GTK technology. So that can create a clash and it can harm your configuration file, system configuration files and introduce misbehavior during the functioning of the system. So for uh, uh, this uh, installation that is Cosmic, it can live safely with KDE desktop. So I specifically, I kept this in mind while uh, doing this review videos which desktop has is compatible with other desktop so you should have all this knowledge so now we will stop the video here see you in the next video bye bye